Okay, so uh, I'm at Queen Victoria Square and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to get tonight, if I'm honest. Uh, not much in the way of lights on at the moment. I think it's going to be the basic shots. I was hoping for a little bit more fog in the city centre, but looking up at the lights, I'm not sure if the GoPro is picking it up. You can see some nice uh, lights in the mist. So, I'm going to probably go for the simple composition to begin with and then uh, take it from there. Now, looking at that, I love the way you're getting the, the light in the mist. I want to really get an image of that, so let's have a look. There's no one around, which is good, so let's get straight into it. Right, so I'm setting up for my first composition, and it's proven a little bit tricky. I really could do with a wide-angle lens, so I may have to cut off some of City Hall, but I don't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to try and move back a bit and see if I can capture it this way. Now, I think I've jinxed it because a lot of people are turned up from somewhere. Right, let's have a look. Now hopefully you can see the image on the back of the camera and that's what I mean about the, the lights with the beams. Right, so that test shot was way too overexposed, so... So I'm going to try again. I'm not... Composition is not too bad. So let's focus on the lights. I'm at F16 because I want to get the starburst from the lights. And that's just a little bit underexposed, this shot. So I'm, going to, I'm kind of getting the image I want. These are more like test shots and then I'm going to finalise the composition. Right, I think that's going to improve it. I'm going to go portrait for this. So, uh, what I like, I like this little lamp here on the right hand side. Hopefully, you can see it. I want to try and get that in the composition because I like the way it lights up a little bit. Now, it's looking really good with the mist, it's looking really spectacular. So, I've got to be quick with this. So I'm going to have to try and finalise my composition even more. So if I move back... Aha! Right, here we go. Sorted. Now I'll just tighten up the tripod. Now, hopefully you can see it on the back of the camera. I really do not know what this is looking, going to be like. Now, what I like about it... Right, let's take a shot quickly. Um, right, so this shot is uh, F16, and um, yeah, I, I'm liking that. I'm kind of getting the image I like. Still not too sure about the composition. I'm going to take another one quickly. It's all about timing with this shot because you've got that mist in the beams of light like that, which I really want to capture. That's looking better. Yeah. I'm getting an improvement with that, so I'll take one more as the lights change. Sorted, right, time to find another composition. I am struggling now. I'm going to get one of the tree with the mist. I can't go wrong with that. A nice simple composition. So I've got my composition for the Christmas tree. It's not a great composition. I'm just doing a little bit of uh, filming for uh, B-roll. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. What I'll do, I'll stop it and go back to live view. Now you've got the tree, you've got the mist surrounding it. Um, it'd be nice if there was something here in the bottom left hand corner as foreground interest, but uh, I'm going to see what it looks like. So I'm down to ISO 400. Still shooting at f16 to get any kind of starburst from the lights, and I've got a four second exposure. So I'm going to take a series of shots and see what I can come up with as the, the lights change colour. I'm a little bit nervous tonight because it's so late. Um, I thought there'd be not as many people around. With Every now and then I hear footsteps behind me. And I just want to make sure everything's alright because obviously being out late at night with my, my camera. So I'm going to take another couple of shots. And then I want to try and get another one of City Hall because I wasn't really happy with what I was getting. As I was turning around to uh, look for a composition for City Hall, I've got, I like the scene I've got behind me. You've got a tree uh, with some lights on it. And what I've done, I've kind of positioned it on the left-hand side. And then you've just got the building on the right-hand side kind of taking you into the image. I may just have to clone out the little bit of the bench on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on the tree. Settings are still the same. And you've got a little bit of that mist which hopefully will add to the final image. Four second exposure. And yeah, I like the look of that. I'm going to take another couple just to be on the safe side. And hopefully you'll see one of these images. I found an image and uh, literally it wasn't far from where I was when I was taking the uh, image of the Maritime Museum. What I like about this image, you've got part of the uh, statue, you've got the fort coming out on the left hand side, bottom left of the image you've got a little bit of the lamp post and with the mist and the lights you're getting this lovely different colour background. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm shooting at f16 still ISO 400, it's about 13 second exposure, I've locked off the focus so I can just uh, concentrate on taking the image when the lights change. At the moment it's a 13 second exposure and I'm getting some good, uh, well they look good on the back of the camera, hopefully on the PC they will look the same. And what I like is you can see all the detail in the statue and it's just uh, a haze of uh, light behind it. I'm going to take one more. Now, sadly, uh, the light's not really changing, so what I'm getting is like a purpley blue colour. Um, but, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. If I'm honest, I don't think it's fully lit up because I'm pretty sure the other night, right at the top, you had some lights on the left and the right. Uh, apologies if you're, you can't really see it on the GoPro. This is a problem with this point of view photography. I don't know what I'm actually capturing as I'm walking around. But I find it easier doing this tonight rather than getting out my other tripod. Oh, now I like the look of that with the mist. I'm going to see if I can get an image looking down here. Because normally, during the day, this is really busy, so... Let's get a shot. Right. 
Right, let's finalise the composition. Zoom out. Right. I'm going to go for a basic composition using the uh, the road and the double yellow lines as a leading line taking you into the image. Now I'm shooting at f16. Right. Remember to change, put the focus back into auto. So let's focus on the scene. Oh, oh, it was already in auto. Um, let's focus on the scene. Now I've got a car coming, so I might get a light trail if I'm lucky. So I'm going to let it focus. Right, I'm going to lock off the focus. And the car's turning off. Never mind. So, correct exposure is f16 and two and a half seconds at ISO 400. So I'm going to take the shot and uh, see how it looks. Um, not how I'm imagine it, if I'm honest. If I zoom in a bit more. Um, no, I'm not sure. I don't think this image is going to work. I'll see if this car comes. If this car comes up the road, I'll try again. Um, otherwise, I'm going to abandon the shot. So I've now got to time it right. Two and a half second exposure. So, two second timer. There goes the car. If I let's have a look, if I cross the road, I'm gonna see what type of images I can get for City Hall across the road. Uh, let's have a look. Um, now the only problem I've got is the actual lighting, that's going to be major flare. Um, uh, I don't know, let's have a little walk. Um, see if I can, there is some more options over here, down uh, White Friar Gate. And uh, people laugh when I say it like that, being a, a southerner. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, no, nah, it's not going to work. I think it's going to be too misty, if I'm honest. Let's have a look. Um, I really thought the mist was going to be on my side, but I think it's... Uh, spoiling some of the images. Let's uh, just do a test. Let's have a look. Um, uh, right, let's go for a shot here, see what I can find. I might have to go back into landscape. having trouble getting my camera on the actual tripod. There we go. Oh, oh, I like that. Straight away I've just found a composition I wasn't even trying. You've got the steps here leading up. You've got City Hall on the left hand side. And I like where you've got the lamppost in the middle. Now, right, I'm going to go with that. I wasn't even planning on that. And I, I really, really like that. So, right, auto focus. Focus in the middle of the scene, like so. What am I getting? Uh, so it's going to be an eight second exposure. All right, let's go with it. See how it works. I may have to drop the shutter speed down as the lights change, but we will see. Um, and yeah, I really like that. The mist, the colour. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a few more shots as the lights change and then play around with the shutter speed 
and yeah straight away now I find that sometimes you could be hunting for compositions and never get anything just put the, the tripod down fit the camera to the tripod and hey presto you get a composition I think I'm gonna head back to the car drive around Ah, oh, hang on whoa <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm loving the light from this. Now, right, straight in front of me, you've got the light behind the statue and the monument, and I'm really liking that, so I've got to try and get an image. And it's starting to get a little bit slippery. So, camera on. Right. Wow, there we go. Straight out the bag again. But I'm gonna have to, right, hopefully you can see the composition where you've got City Hall behind the statue and the way the light's coming out on the right hand side. I am gonna just have to raise the camera a little bit so I'm not looking up at City Hall. Okay, so I found a nice image. I'm having to be really quiet because I'm not sure if people live around here. So hopefully you can hear me. What I'm gonna do, you've got a nice Christmas tree on the right hand side. Hopefully I can get some nice starbursts for the lights and you've got all the lights going across uh, left to right. So I'm gonna get a composition finalized. And hopefully I've got enough battery life left. Now I think I'm going to have to go portrait for this. So uh, I'm going to pop the camera into portrait. And I might have to go a little bit closer. So just going to uh, lock the car. Right, I'll walk a little bit closer. I want to get the tree in shot. Alright, let's have a look. Right, let's go with the. Oh. Right, so I'm too far over on the left, so I'm going to come over on the right. That's looking better. Yeah. Right, yeah, I quite like that composition. What may do? Right, I may zoom in a little bit just so I haven't got that light at the top. The only thing I don't really like about this composition is you've got the sign with where it says one way, but so this is going to be like a test shot. So I'm at F16, ISO 400, and uh, it's struggling to focus. So let me focus on the tree. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look in focus. Something's not right. Right, I'm going to have to go to manual focus. Let's do this manually, so zoom in and let's get a nice there we go that's it, in focus two second timer not a bad image um, not what I was hoping for, if I'm honest. Um, it's just that sign. Um, let me have a walk about a bit. Maybe if I got closer, closer to it. Right. I 
that might work yeah see I'm cutting out the one way sign by getting a little bit closer and if I place a Christmas tree now that may work what I'm doing I'm placing the Christmas tree on the right hand side you've got the fence in in the bottom of the image and you've kind of got the leading line on the left of the path taking you up to where the lights are so what I'm going to do put it back into auto focus and uh, see how it goes right let's focus about there right. there we go so uh, what we got 1.6 second exposure f16 iso 400 and let's see how this one looks Just having a walk up here now. Um, just really seeing what it's like from this side. Um, if I come in this side, the Christmas tree blocks that horrible one way sign. So um, let's have a look. And uh, right now, I don't really want my car in shot. Let's have a look. Have a look. Um, crocky. Um, wonder what that uh, crash was then. Now, here we go. Let's have a look. What's it like? Uh, right. Get more of the tree in. Um, yeah. Let's see how that works. Yet again, right, what I've done, you've got the tree on the left hand side, you've got the kind of pebbles as a leading line taking you into the image, and you've got the lights across. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, so uh, give it a go. So, back into autofocus. I'm going to focus on the lights. And uh, what we've we got, two seconds. F-16 ISO 400 <laughs> 